All right, you guys, this is Ross, the Fig Boss. So in today's video, we have uh, a few fig reviews I'm gonna be doing for you guys today. Uh, the first one of the videos is gonna be about this fig here. It's called Exquisito. And I must say, it is an extremely productive fig. And uh, my friend Doug had found this fig over in California. It's a seedling. At least, uh, I'm pretty sure that's what he believes to be true. Um, and it is a, a fig that produces multiple crops. It'll produce a Braba, it'll produce a main crop, and then it'll produce a second crop of main crop. Um, and he, Doug believes that they have, they all have an each, they each all have an individual flavor to them that's different from the others, which um, I can see, very easily see that being true. Um, and you know what? It does seem to really put out a second set of main crop because you can see here, um, I did some pinching on this tree. And then after the, the tree had been pinched, it resumed growth and actually put out a second crop of main crop. These guys here will probably not ripen in time though of my season. So if you live though in a really warm climate, um, I could very easily see that happening. But this is a new one to me. I've harvested a, you know, a fruit already off of this tree, but for the most part, I haven't really gotten a great idea of the flavor of this. What's interesting to me is that the, the fruit has a longer stem, which is nice because typically these round shaped figs, you can see it's split and that's very typical of the shape. Um, I have so many examples I can show you guys. Like this one down here, Regato del Salento, has a very round bottom to it. And the more rounder they are, the fatter the bottom, the less slender they are. And we talk a lot about the shape of these fruits here, guys. Typically the worse they are with splitting. So I would argue that this fig probably doesn't do great with splitting. However, it does have a long stem and that long stem does help let, let it hang a bit better um, because the stem usually is quite pliable and then it's able to hang actually straight downwards, which is exactly what you want. Um, so it has some good pluses in that sense. And although I would really judge it on that shape, um, you could see a fig like this. This is the one that does the best here in terms of splitting is the Moro de Caneva. And you could see that it's just hanging straight down. So this does really well in terms of splitting and it's really all because of that hang. And it's just straight down. Uh, the eye is never pointed towards the sky. And you just have a better <clears throat> chance for it, to, for it not to split. Now, so that means to me is that this fig, although it is gonna split, it's probably not gonna be the worst in terms of splitting. So I'll have to give it some negatives. I've, you know, it loses some points, but it also gains some points um, but so far, both of the figs that I've harvested off of this tree have split. We've gotten a lot of rain recently, so I can't necessarily, um, I can't fault the tree necessarily for that because you just get a lot of rain, it's just going to happen. Um, with many of the varieties here I'm growing, it's just, uh, it's just a thing. And you know what, the, the fig also has a type of skin that I've noted in a lot of other varieties that's just not conducive for splitting. Um, I don't know how to necessarily describe it, but the skin you could tell would crack very easily. It's almost like um, a lot of varieties have this shiny, um, how do we describe this? It's not very pliable. Um, it doesn't expand well to pressure. I mean, you do have pressure and you can even see it here at the top, believe it or not. So even at the top of the fruit, it is also split. Um, and you can see that little crack there, which is then also exposing the interior to the outside elements. On the bottom, it does appear we have a little bit of mold maybe, uh, but you can see that in there is a lot of honey. So there's a lot of honey being pulled in there. I'm gonna cut this open for you guys. We'll try it. That's really what I wanted to do. 
in this video is, is, you know, taste it and give you guys an honest review of it. So there's the inside. It's pretty good. That is uh, quite a nice looking fig. That's impressive. So I imagine this one's got some figgier tones to it, some honey flavors to it. You can tell it's not a very, um, the pulp is not very dark red and therefore I would imagine it's just probably doesn't have the strongest berry flavor to it. Um, I have always sort of theorized that this fig is very similar to Columbaro Nero. Very common Italian fig. It goes by so many names, uh, Sicilian Black, um, uh, Red Sicilian, Aldo's uh, Palermo Red. You don't hear a lot about this fig because it's just so common everywhere uh, in the Northeast and really everywhere in Italy. A lot of Italian heirlooms, a lot of people bring this over from Italy and just this is a very common fig. It's grown all over the world. Um, and to me, it seemed very similar uh, in terms of its shape and the colors and the, and the appearance of it. You could tell by the eye, you could tell sort of by the pulp. I want to really see by the flavor, but the big difference for me that I've seen in this fig and what separates it from those other ones that I've mentioned is that it has a very long stem. And that's pretty consistent. Whereas the uh, Palermo Red and all those other types I've mentioned, you could find that, by the way, there's a long list of those synonyms down in my spreadsheet. If you're really interested, you could find out um, all the different names for that fig. But, but that one in particular uh, doesn't have a long stem. In fact, the stem is so short that it makes it even worse when it comes to splitting because it doesn't hang very well. The neck is usually quite um, firm. It doesn't droop very easily and then therefore it doesn't shed water very easily. Um, so it's weird that this fig reminds me a lot of that fig. It reminds me a lot of Columbaro Nero, but um, there's some glaring differences here, like in the, the length of the stem that make me think, oh, it's probably different. Um, at least different in that way. So let's try this. It's quite good. It does taste a lot like Columbaro Nero too. So I'm not getting any like, um, you know, something about it that it's, it's not like this is an amazing fig. I'm not picking up any banana notes in it. I think Doug has noted, um, I'm sure, and I'm very sure that this fig changes a lot when it's caprified, uh, when it's grown in a climate like Doug's. I mean, he just gets the most perfect quality on his fruits. Like, just, you can't really beat it. They're dry farmed, they're caprified, they're in the most perfect climate. But here, it's just, you know, this is probably like a three, It's like a 3.8, maybe a 3.7 out of five. Very sweet. I like the skin. The skin's got a nice flavor to it. Um, very, very reminiscent of a honey fig. So even though it, it's a black skin fig, the fig in the inside's a little red. Um, in my mind, it actually is a honey fig and it reminds me a lot of Dotato. A lot of the Dotatos I've been eating Tastes very similar, very reminiscent of honey, very uh, reminiscent of that brown sugar, not a whole lot of berry, if any, um, and it, it's extremely sweet. So that's a good one, um, but again, not my favorite. I don't think it's personally great for this particular climate. Um, for someone that's where Doug is at, long season, dry, you get the multiple crops of it. Uh, you can get it through the winter time, you'll get the Brava, you get a huge amount of production from this tree. Um, and then of course they don't split and the flavors are much more concentrated over in those climates. So for me, it's just not a, it's not a winner. And I would say it's probably more along the lines of uh, maybe mid, mid season, which does in fact line up pretty well with Columbaro Nero. Um, so we'll see you guys soon. 
Thanks for watching. Take care. Hit that subscribe button. Check out the other videos we've done now on figs and check out our blog, figboss.com.